Nerds! Welcome to Nerd Magic. Time to get nerd up. Don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to spread the word up. Let me get some lights on. Let me get some color in this bitch. <laughs> okay, nerds, I ordered this phone one hour after Google's event and the amount of chaos I went through with Google just to get this shit. Ugh. Well, that's neither here nor there, but finally I have it, and I'm about to do the Pixel 2 XL initial unboxing nerd magic style. I know you guys are wondering, nerd magic, nerd magic, why the hell did you order this after hearing about the blue tint in screen and as well as the burn imprint on screen shit? Well, I'll tell you why I ordered it, because I'm an effing nerd and I'm craving for the stock Android experience, okay? So let's go through, see what we got in the box, which I'm sure everyone knows by now. So, of course, we got the phone right here, as you can see. Uh, the phone's looking pretty, pretty okay. <laughs> okay, and uh, pretty much here. Let's just move away this shit. Alright guys, you guys already know what's in here. We got the phone, we're gonna get a charger, a USB Type-C adapter since no auxiliary port. And last but not least, you know the instructions that nobody will ever read. I mean, it's a stereotypical thing we get in phone boxes. So let's talk about some good stuff. So majority of my fan base, I'm sure, assume I would have picked up the V30, in which that was my original decision, but the support you get from Google and how optimized Android worked and how beautiful the pictures look on this phone took my breath away. I mean, literally. The other reason is because it runs Android 8.0 Oreo straight out of the box and there's already an update for 8.1 preview mode available for download. Apart from Google showing all the support for this phone, there's a huge support from the community including myself when it comes to mods and ROMs for the Pixel lineups. So if you're looking for a phone that can install TWRP with no issues and get a bunch of ROMs and kernel, then this is the phone you should get. As you can tell, the version of the Pixel 2 XL I got was the black version due to the Oreo flavored one being out of stock. And here you can see the USB Type-C part right there as mentioned. And here's the dongle right here in my hand. Just push it in, baby. <laughs> I'm, not a real, I'm not a real fan of these stuff, but uh, seems like a future. What can we do? What can we say? And honestly guys, going back and looks, as far as looks and design goes, let's just say, if this phone was a female, don't expect it to be any kind of miscongeniality. Hell, don't even expect it to be the girl next door. <laughs> I gotta be honest, but if this phone was a woman, this phone would have been China. <laughs> Despite that, the phone does feel pretty good in the hand, but I recommend to put a case on it. And I do have links in the description below of the case that I recommend for this phone. Also, despite the fact that the auxiliary port is missing, I do appreciate the fact at least we got dual front speakers which sounds EPIC! And we also got a fingerprint scanner which is located at the back, which I find it to be a more natural spot for the fingerprint scanner. The internal specs of this phone is packing 4 gigs of RAM, a 35 Snapdragon processor, 6 inch 18 by 9 2K ratio screen which is POLED which kinda has a blue tint honestly when you turn the phone to the side but it really doesn't bother me but I'd recommend to go to a Verizon store so you can mess with it first so you can make your own decision on that. It also comes in two storage flavors, 64 for casual users and 128 gig for the nerds. The magic about having a Google phone despite it lacking expandable storage, it makes up for that giving you unlimited cloud storage if you buy this phone. Which is just insane. To put that in perspective nerds, to put that in perspective, you only get 5 gigs for iPhone for the iCloud for free. And then after that you have to pay the $50 a year whatever the hell shit you gotta pay and on the Pixel 2 XL it's unlimited for free baby. And again, of course, you guys already know about the camera everywhere. It comes with an amazing 8 megapixel front camera, a 12 megapixel rear camera, the bouquet effect in the front camera, and the back camera works perfect. No other phone compares with this. And if you want to see those pictures, just don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I have the link of that in the description as well. The pictures are epic. Trust me, they are epic. With all that being said, I do have a few gripes and I'm sure you guys already know the lack of the auxiliary port but as I said they gave us the adapter which makes up for it in some type of way and I do wish at least that this phone had an option to change the resolution. 
And that's pretty much it nerds and I know this was just supposed to be an unboxing but I already messed with this phone and tinkered with it a few times and I promise to do a review as well as mods, ROMs, basically all the nerd magic shit you'd expect from me and if you're interested in buying this phone the link is also in the description below but the price tag for this is $800 and above so I'll recommend to wait if you're a casual user but if you're a nerd like me and want a new phone and want some magic in your life the link is in the description below and please do the magical favor for me by liking my channel and subscribing and have yourself an awesome day and I love you guys.